How to buy Solana on Phantom Wallet. Hello people, welcome into this new video and today's channel I'm going to show you how we can buy Solana using Phantom Wallet. So first of all you need to understand that Phantom is a crypto wallet and sometimes you just can't um, buy cryptos on your wallet. Instead you need to use an exchange like Binance or Coinbase, which in this case we have to do that. As you can see I am on my Phantom Wallet and I have here my assets here. I can deposit here, I can send my tokens. So maybe I could convert Solana into USDT, but that's not what I want. I want Solana. I want to buy Solana. So what I usually do is that I send this Solana from my exchange to my wallet, which as you can see, I have a lot of transactions in here. So I use Binance a lot because it works almost every single time. But speaking about Solana network, sometimes it just have to stop because there's a lot of traffic in the way and we have to wait a lot. But let me show you what do I do to have Solana in my Phantom wallet. So the first thing I do is to go into my wallet and then I go into account wallet. Now what I do after I deposit a few dollars in my account, I go here where it says deposit fiat. Then I select USD and then I make the swap. That means changing USD to Solana. So once I get that, I have my Solana here. This is what I have available. And then what I want to do is to go and select this one that says withdraw. I select the coin that I wanted to send to my phantom wallet, which in this case that would be Solana. And then I have to paste the address. So for that, I need to go back into my phantom wallet and I have to go and click this one that says deposit. Then I select Solana and then I have to copy this address that provides me from phantom wallet. Now I go back into Binance and I paste the address. And then this happens automatically, but you have to choose Solana Network. Now, as I just told you before, Solana sometimes gets suspended because this one tries to clear the backlog because there are a lot of people trying to make these transactions. And if this one keeps active, the transaction might, might be waiting for weeks. So what I do sometimes with this happen is that I create a reminder set so they can notify me through my email or through my phone when I can make this transaction out. But actually it was just the last step and the last step is just click on confirm and to sign the contract so I can see the transaction here on my phantom wallet. And as you can see I can see my recent withdrawal which it was completed, the address it was sent it and all that and here I have the transactions as well. So there you have it guys it's just a matter of looking for the right exchange and wait till the Solana networks works correctly. So hopefully this was a very useful video for you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about this kind of stuff. Thank you for watching the video and I'll be seeing you guys on the next one.